Hello everybody, my name is Dr. Mark Boyd. I'm a board certified obstetrician and gynecologist. Today I'm going to talk about an abnormal quad marker and what that means. Please click the link below to obtain further information. Abnormal quad marker, what does this mean? Well, first of all, it's, under, it's important to understand that this is a simple screening test for the simple question, does my baby have an abnormality? And the two abnormalities that we are looking at when we obtain a quad marker is does my baby have a spina bifida? That means a problem with the brain or the spinal cord. Or does my baby have genetic abnormalities like Down syndrome? It's important to understand the frequency of which this is obtained. First of all, when you get your blood test, your screening test will come back as either normal or abnormal. Now, if you're in the abnormal group, it's important to understand the statistics. First of all, if 1,000 women have the quad marker, 50 have abnormal values. Again, this is a screening test. 50 have abnormal values. You will be referred at that point to a high-risk specialist called a maternal fetal medicine doctor or a perinatologist. Of the 50 that have abnormal quad marker, only one or two of that 50 will have spina bifida and only one or two of that 50 will have a genetic abnormality like trisomy 21, trisomy 13, or trisomy 18. How will this be obtained by your maternal fetal medicine specialist? He will perform a sonogram or an ultrasound and he will perform a possible amniocentesis. It's important to understand though, if you get that call that your blood test of your quad marker is abnormal, that you understand that only one or two out of 1,000 have spina bifida, one or two out of 1,000 have genetic abnormalities. I hope this information was helpful. Have a good day.